Hello. Look who's here, the two nonces. Jumbo and Cyboogie. What up, beaches? <clears throat> Gonna be playing some Animal Crossing. Uh oh. Don't want that going dark. <clears throat> Let's go, gamers. So, yeah, if uh, we're going live a bit earlier today than usual, basically because a lot of the stuff in that you can do in Animal Crossing you can't do at night time, so it's better to start as early as possible. Because at 10, the shop closes at 10, so we need, we need to get in here quick and get to the shop before it closes, because there might be some stuff that I want to buy in there, so let's get a... Let's get started quickly. Yeah, the, the clove shop is already closed, so rip. Not going to be getting any new Yeezys today, unfortunately. Can't you just change the time on the switch? I guess, but come on now, that, that's, that's cheating. We ain't no cheaters. Also. <clears throat> Apologies if you can hear my little brother shouting in the background. We should be going to bed like any minute now. Let's go, gamers. Hopefully, the music's not too loud. Well, I don't know how you would turn down the audio on Switch. I think you need to do it in the system settings, since I don't think there's any options like in the game itself. But, uh, but yeah, let me know if the music audio and game audio is like too loud or something. Now I'll change it. I will change it. I will. Okay, okay. Mm -mm. To be fair, when I was a kid, I changed the time by six, twelve hours because I'd always play at night. Mm hmm. Oh, hey, Coach has got a. Oh, hey, everyone's got a hat on. They had like raincoats and hats on there. I've never seen them in that outfit before. Music is perfect for me. Gucci, Gucci. But yeah, I don't like changing the time on the switch, it just kind of feels a bit like cheating to me. Oh, it's Isabel. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, Dran Lake, baby. Let's go. Oof, hats equals TF2. Yeah, boy. Shoot, we've got 10 minutes to get to the shop, boys. No news, thankfully, so don't have to waste time. Friday Eve. The weekend's so close, I can almost taste it. Isabel signing off. Hell yeah. So yeah, I called my island John Layak. Super cringe, I know, but... We're gaming, boys. Yeah, I look like an idiot right now. Let's uh, take off those, that mask. Don't want that. No news, that was a relief. What happens, what? Huh? But yeah, check. Oh, not that. Check out uh, this hoodie that I designed. No, not that. There we go, boys. Look at that. It's a Solaire hoodie. Let me go in into the house so that we can uh, get a better look at it. This is my house. It's not. It's not that big at the moment. I need to pay off like a fifty thousand loan until I can get a house expansion. So, 
this is all I've got at the minute. You look like you've been beaten up. Is this a rough neighborhood? Hood? I'm a, well, there's this guy called Coach, who's a, he's a bit of a, he's a bit of a, a chad, if I say so myself. He might get a bit physical. Yeah, we've got nine minutes. So this is my house. It's not that big at the minute, but I do kind of plan on a, maybe even upgrading it today in this stream. So, so yeah, also, we got the uninstalled logo on the bed. Let's go. You can make your own flag, and I made the uninstalled logo, my the flag. So, there you go. Also, there's my, uh, my Slayer hoodie. He's praising the sun. Oh. Yeah, I need a house expansion because we are filled to the brim here, boys. Can't fit anything else in there. Got my little guitar. Okay, let's get going to the shops. Gonna go to Nux Cranny, which closes at 10. <coughs> yeah, and I live on the beach. I built my house on the beach. So, so yeah. You can't build a fence on this little uh, downhill bit here. So I've just used this as like an entrance to get behind the house. Whereas there's this little generator that you can turn on. So there you go. There's my little flower garden. I might need to water the plants today actually. Okay, let's get going. Here's the shop. There's the uninstalled flag, let's go. I've also got the uninstalled logo on my phone. Like if you can see the phone case, it's got the un uninstalled logo on it. So, there you go. Okay, let's go. What's the item of the day? Wooden table mirror. Okay, basically, if I make a wooden table mirror and then sell it in the shop, I'll get a double the price for it. So. <clears throat> Here we go. Hello. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. We don't seem to be selling anything too interesting today. Mate, let's buy a wheelie bin. How much does this cost? A garbage bin. 1,000 bells. Eh. I'm saving up for a, a house upgrade, which is, it's like, I, I think it, it was 50,000 yesterday, but I think I might have paid a bit more towards it since then, so it might be like 30 something thousand now. So I'm saving up for that. Any decent wallpaper or floors being sold today? Not really. I love how they just follow you all the time. It's like, go away, you damn raccoons. Trying to mug me. Mate, how much does this cost? Coffee cut. 270 bells. I would buy it, but... There's literally nothing else I can put inside my house. It's literally just filled to the brim. So, thank you. Nice, nice, nice. Mm -mm -mm. Let's uh, get some stone, boys. Come on, give me some gold. There's like a small chance that you can get gold nuggets from these. I know my axe broke. And gold nuggets, you can sell them for like 10,000 each, so. Really useful. All this stuff is just crafting materials, though. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Oh, hey, there's an owl. I think when there's, whenever there's a bird on top of 
this uh, notice board, it means there's a new thing, there's a new post to look at. Which yeah, there is. Well, hey, June 26th is uh, Marina's birthday. On June 23rd is Tammy's birthday. So, I'm gonna have to get him something special. Oh. Oh yeah, one of my posts is just, <laughs> hello. There you go. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go inside the town hall. If you if you access this thing like once every day then you get bonus nook miles which is basically like a, a secondary uh, currency that you can spend on things. We're gonna get 300 today, cool. And then you can spend nook miles on all this stuff in here. Bell Vulture, that basically just lets you Exchange Nook Miles for Bells. <clears throat> Nook Miles tickets let you fly to other people's islands. Customizable phone case, hairstyles, fences, furniture. Bam, 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 bam. Don't need any of that stuff. This is what I need to pay off to uh Get a bigger house. 38,000, okay. I have 20,000. So we'll try and get that paid off today. This is where you spend bells to get items. All kind of shit stuff though. in the recycle bin a sapling. Oh. Cool. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. And we don't need to talk to any of these guys right now. In terms of like main story, if you can even say that this game has a story, it's uh I'm working towards getting a KK slider who's that white dog with the guitar to come to my island and do a concert but my island's way too small and he, he doesn't want to come because it wouldn't be worth it so first off screw you mate and second we have to uh, I have to build a campsite to get more tourists to come to the island and then I need to get and then I need to build more houses to get more people to live on the island and then then he'll come and do a concert for us. So, so yeah, this is uh, this is Tammy. Her gimmick is that she always says "ya heard," oh hey ya heard, what brings you here? Mate, I ain't giving you shit. Let's chat. I think I left my fitted sheet at my last place. You heard? It's not like I used it much, but still. Well. Thanks. I mean, uh, it was nice talking to you, Tammy. Mm -mm -mm. Oh god, look at that thing. Fucking hell, that's the biggest butterfly I've ever seen. That's the biggest insect I've ever seen in this game. Holy shit, let's catch that bad boy. Gotta be super sneaky. Oh god, that thing is terrifying. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. What the hell is that thing? An atlas moth. I bet it never gets lost. Oof. Cool, then we can give that to the museum. To Blavers, the the fiend. The absolute devil. This is Tammy's house. <clears throat> cool. Mate, who needs bridges to get over water when you can just do this? Boom. 
No, this is Big Top's house. I don't think he's in at the moment, no. No, need to find him somewhere. Big Top energy. Yeah, boy. Big Top's cool. Big Top uh, is an elephant. He reminds me of Dumbo. Where is he? Where's Big Top? The big bastard. Mm -mm. Should be down here somewhere. Oh, there he is. There's Big Top. Look at this absolute chad. Hi, how are you doing? What up? Another neat day on John Lake, villain. Wow, thanks, Big Top. That was an amazing conversation. Ooh, I can hear a, uh, a balloon. There we go. Big Top's an absolute stud. Eee. What have we got here? Shellfish pochette. No idea what that is. <clears throat> yeah, but I'm, I'm not sure if this was in any any of the other Animal Crossing games. Or if it's something new for this, but in this game you find you find recipes about the world around the world, and then once you learn the recipes, then you can you can craft them by getting materials and stuff like all this shit. I think it's new for this game. So we just got a shellfish pochette, which we need two giant clams and six summer shells. Oh, what even is it? I don't even look. Oh god. Nah, no crafting recipes in earlier games, like okay. You can probably hear people talking in the background. Like my dad and my little brother's like right outside my door right now, shouting, so apologies for that. Look at all this shit I can make. It's like some sort of like purse or something. <clears throat> Got the the critopedia, which is this is where all of the insects and fish that you find in the game get like displayed. There's the Atlas Moth. Only comes out. I forgot to say. I might go tell him to shut up. Back in a sec. Here we back, gamers. Told him to shut the hell up. I hate how bright this is. I look like a fucking snowman. Oh, there we go. So here we got an Atlas Moth. They only come out in April, May, June, July, August and September. And they only come out after 7pm. Cool. These are all the bugs that I've caught so far. All the fish. Okie dokie. Okay, let's find some more neighbours to talk to. I can hear another balloon. Where's it at? There it is. Let's see what we get this time. 
Oh, didn't mean to do that. Can't tell from too far forward or backwards. God damn it. There we go. Shell wand. Okay. Maybe I'm gonna go, gonna go casting spells on these fools. Let me get my Koopa tea. Oh shit, I just not I just spelled some. Oh well. God damn it, it's all gonna be sticky now down there. Yuck. Okay, what's this? Shell wand. I don't know what I don't know what a star fragment is. I've never got one of those. But there was this NPC called Celeste who told me about shooting stars or something. If I look up in the sky and see a shooting star, I can press a button. So maybe if I do that, I'll get a star fragment. But I don't I don't know what wands do either. I've never made a wand before. Don't mean to do that. <clears throat> oh yeah, there's also uh, all of this Nook Mile stuff. These are basically like achievements and little, basically like achievements that you can do to get to get uh, Nook Miles. They're all just basic stuff, like like a uh, chop wood from trees. Like how many tools you've broken and like planting flowers and stuff. One of them is to uh, talk to every every NPC on the island every day and see if I've done that te for uh, for ten days. Need to do it for ten more to get the next one. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just gonna go around and make sure we talk to everyone on the island at least once. Who lives here? I think this is yeah, this is Marina. Knock, knock, we coming in. Mate, she's always just crafting something. Sorry, I was really focused on this. What are you doing? <laughs> oh shit, she's making a wooden block bed. I think I've already got the recipe for that. DIY is a great way to learn by doing, I'm totally obsessed with it. Want to learn how to make your own wooden block bed? Sure. Turns out I don't have the recipe for that. I've only, uh, I only just made a normal bed yesterday. Like, I've been playing this game for like two weeks now. And up until yesterday, I was sleeping in like a fucking sleeping bag, so... So, <laughs> so there you go. I mean, I could have made a bed at any time, but I was just too lazy to do it. To do it. And you have like daily... You have your dailies up here. Your daily challenges, which you get like double the amount of miles for. Than the normal ones. Moving up in the world. Hell yeah. Got myself a bed. Doing my dailies. <laughs> hey, there's the map. There's my passport. Pairs are cool, okay. That's my uh, that's my quote. Since you get like when you first start the game. Like, you get randomly assigned a fruit for your island, and I got pears. <laughs> which are like the most basic bitch fruit you can possibly get. So, so I'm just saying pears are cool, okay? Like, don't judge me, mate. My my island might be a pear island, but I ain't no simple Simon, you know what I'm saying? And I'm a full-fledged fossil. I was Tom Nook's son until recently, actually. I might change it back to Tom Nook's son. Where's Tom Nook? 
No, I think it was Nook Inks then. Do I think I might have unlocked Tom Nook since then? Nope. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm an overacting... Grandma. Oh shit, I, f I forgot to... I pressed the wrong button so I didn't do it. Oh well. I'm a full-fledged fossil for now. I'll do. Mate, I'm sleeping in your bed. This is my house now. What you got in here? Nothing. I've never found anything in any of these, like, closets or whatever in other people's houses. This is, uh, this is Sprinkle's house. <laughs> Mate, Sprinkle's al always covered in fleas. Do you know how times I've had to, like, swat a flea off Sprinkle's? Like, holy shit, like, get a bath or something. Hello. Oh my gosh, welcome. I wanna chat. My friend making strats to go hard with the personal chat, I always want to learn everything in one go. Oh my gosh, spill it all. So, what am I going to learn about you today? Let's see. What kind of stuff do you like to read? Frape? Mate, what do I like to read? Hmm. Ah, oh, you see, I like to read travel guides, you see. <laughs> travel guides. Travel guides are a great buy, it's so fun reading them while planning your trip or just laying around the house. I know all the best places to eat in dozens of cities I've never even been to. Good for you, Sprinkle. Mate, you got a bunk bed. Well, it's not a bunk bed, it's just... One bed on... I guess it is a bunk bed. But instead of a bed in the bottom, it's a desk. Totes lose myself in the music. In a bit, Sprinkle. Hmm. That means. The only person we haven't met yet is a uh, coach. Coach is a uh, is a big boy. Mate, coach is the one that gave me these these uh, bandages. They are weeds on the ground. Yeah. Every now and then, this guy called Leaf, who's like the sloth guy, comes on comes to the island and. Uh, you can sell them weeds for double, double the amount that you would when you sell them to anyone else. So I just wait until Leaf comes around and then pick up as many as I can and sell them, sell them to him. Bum, bum, bum. Mate, look at that uninstalled flag. It, it's supposed to say uninstalled, but S's, A's and D's and E's are way too hard to make in a in this game, so I just put a un in till and then <laughs> and then star. So there you go. You right, big top, mate. Big up to big top. What a chad, mate. I got emotes as well. Right, look at this one. Kawaii. Oh shit, he's doing it as well. I didn't know that that happened. That happens. Excuse me. These are all the emotes. 
Ein Öf. Na egal. What am I doing again? Oh yeah, gonna go meet Coach. Mate, Coach, he roughed me up. Mate, look at this guy. <laughs> look at this absolute alpha. Evening. Ooh, I've been going strong all day. Might be time for a breather, stubble. He always calls me stubble. <clears throat> Did you design your clothes yourself? Because, well, I'm gonna get you to design some muscle wear for me one of these days, stubble. Mate. I'll design you some shoes, because... What are those? Uh, mate, I gave him this. That pull-up bar stand, catch your eye, pretty sweet, ain't it? Yeah, I, g I gave it you, mate. I made this myself and gave it to him. Mate, coach, what a chad. Look at this guy. Look at him lifting his weights. Giza. Shropic Giza coaches. You don't want to mess with him. Trust me. This is the uh, the clove shop, but uh, it closes at nine, so can't go in there, unfortunately. Able sisters, which I believe the able sisters are in all like the other games as well. And this is like the little. This is like the town, the main road. I want to have like a proper pavement coming down here at some point, so this can be the. The city centre, we've know it's not really a city, but you know what I mean. Okie dokie. I guess uh, we could go pay Harvey a visit. Oh shit. Got some uh, some money in the ground here, boys. Not there, mate. I dug up a thousand bells. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at the, uh, the recipe. Oh, okay. Sweet. God, there's a mosquito there. So yeah, we can go to this, uh, this, this is, there's this dog called Harvey, and we can go to his island, and, uh, we can, he wants us to take, like, photos for him. And there's this, uh, this couple who want us to take anniversary photos for them. Hey, 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 welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies, the Tran Lake Airport. How can I help you out today? I want to fly. Roger. By the way, it looks like you've got a Nook Mile sticker on you in case you feel like using that. Where did you want to go? Wait, I want to go to Harvey's Island. <laughs> Time for take <laughs> Oh, it's so hot. I'm boiling. Maybe drinking a hot a cup of tea wasn't the best idea. Touch down like collecting figurines in a hand mirror. We are parked and proud. Give a 
quack to ring back. Mate. What's your name again? Wilbur. Train wreck fruit parfait is reporting Sangu who the dancing is girl. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I don't know why that, that made me laugh. Oof, do you require assistance over looking <laughs> Tango who the dancer? It's oof. <clears throat> Hey, look at this guy. Look at this hippie. This John Lennon looking dude. What's up? I can hear an owl somewhere. So we're uh, gonna do some anniversary photos of Reese and Cyrus, or do you got a question about the studio? Hey, let's take some anniversary photos. Mate, Harvey's house is massive. You can, you can go into his house and it's it's got like three different floors, each of like multiple rooms. It's like fucking hell. I want my house to be like that one day. But basically, all you do here is, is you just take pictures of them. You can place different. Uh, I don't know, I think I need to talk to them first, but you can place down different like furniture items and stuff to like decorate the place and then you take pictures. I don't know how good the picture is, you get like different amounts of heart crystals and then you can use them to buy items and stuff. So <laughs> Recreate the reception. Oh, some new furniture. Plenty of pink and white. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what we got here. That's new. I guess it would make sense to, uh, I need to get out of the way. How about I just stand in the corner over here? Like a good little boy. <laughs> just like the end of Blair Witch. Fucking hell. Maybe if I have you two standing behind the table. And then, uh... Didn't mean to do that. And then we get some, uh... We get some flowers going on behind here. Back here. Okay, I kind of want to see where they are. How about we do that? Well, yeah, that looks Gucci. White, red, and wall. I guess we can use that. No, that's the one that we used last time. I think we need to use this one. Get some. Uh... I don't think we need carpets actually. Oh, do we? Um, okay. Got some chairs. Which I guess these can go uh, either side of the table. There you go. We don't just need to use these wedding themed things, we can use... We can basically use all the pieces of furniture that I've unlocked throughout the game, so... We could get some candles about. Some romantic candles. There you go, just uh... uh 
I don't know where to put them. Oh, maybe, yeah, just like that, I guess. Hopefully the chairs... Oh, the table doesn't get set on fire. Oh, that looks kind of stupid, though. Oh, God. Don't mean to do that. Maybe put the candles back here like this. Yeah, there you go. What else have we got? I guess that, that could do, actually. I think that looks decent. This looks kind of wedding, wedding-y. I guess we could put some of these about. There you go. What else have we got here? <laughs> Mate, let's put a, an atlas moth on the table. Let's just put some fleas on on the scene. You know, I think that's. I think we've done enough. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, first off, make me disappear. Then we can get them to look over at me, and then wait. Do we want to zoom in or zoom out? Nope. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm still not used to the the Nintendo Switch buttons. Like wh whenever I see Y, I always need to like look at the con <laughs> look at the controller to see what Y is, because I always get it mixed up with the Xbox Y. So I know B is bottom because B for bottom. <laughs> X is top, I guess. A is right. Y is left. Well, there you go. Uh, hmm. I guess that would be perfect. Then get them to look at me, and then we can add different filters and stuff. Sure, I don't think we need any filters. What was that one? Nah, we don't need any of these. Maybe get a uh, one with the time in the corner, which you can't see because my webcam's in the way, but it says the time in the bottom right corner. Okay, there we go. Oh no, she blinked. God damn it. Okay, we're gonna need to do that again. Okay, don't blink this time. There you go. Uh the the glass was in the way, it was covering your eyes, so we're gonna do that again. Boom. There you go. We got it boys. Sure. Go ahead. What a lovely photo. Thank you. Oh. oh no. Some of the furniture could have matched the theme a bit better. Customize the colour of Psy Guy's furniture to match. A wedding table. Thanks, I guess. <coughs> cool. Basically, you just do that every day, and each day is a different theme. When you get some furniture and some hat crystals for doing it, so so yeah. No. Hello, mate. <coughs> sure, mate. Man, let's explore this guy's house. This guy's house is massive. I want my house to be like this one day. Dude, look at all this space. Then you have so many different rooms to go in. Man, I wonder what he films in that room. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. 
No, excuse me. Excuse M1. I mean, there's nothing in any, any of these rooms, but... I just think it's cool how big his house is. We're not going to explore the entire thing because it will take ages, but... But yeah, it's got a basement. I hope I can get my house to be this big one day. That would be cool. God knows where the where the couple went. They said it was in his kitchen, but I ain't seen no kitchen in there. <clears throat> I wish I could explore more of this island. Maybe let's cook some pieces. We're just chilling, boys. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> A train wreck coconut cream pie is reporting Tango Rock Climb in his girl. Oof. Yikes. I'm ready to go home. You want to bust Bunsen burners and bounce back to Pear Town? Mate, stop insulting my Pear Town. Pears are cool, okay. Let's pack snacks and make tracks. Mate. Wilbur's a... He's a poet. He's a... He's a maestro. He's Wilbur. You can send uh, you can send letters to uh people here. Sure we're not gonna do that yet. I sent a letter to my future self in the, in a year from now. Basically just saying lol. <laughs> I think I said I think I put on the letter like is coronavirus gone yet or something like that. Oh hey, Gulliver's here. Mate, this is Gulliver. He only appears like every now and then. He always gets washed ashore. <clears throat> you need to talk to him like five times. Never mind. Who, what, where, and I'll throw in when and why? No, it's the charge. Mate, this is like the fourth time we've met. You there, what's with the rude awakening, huh? Don't you know who you're dealing with? Oh, it's you, James. I'm slightly less annoyed. Basically, you just need to dig holes on the beach and find his uh, communicator parts so we can uh, get in contact with his shipmates and they can come and rescue him. I'll just call for help using my handy dandy. Uh, my, my, uh, oh my gosh. My handy dandy communicator is broken. This isn't handy or dandy. Oh, sardines. Oh no. Show sure, I'll look for him. <clears throat> 
basically all you need to do is uh, wait for those little squirts of water to appear on the beach like this here and then dig it up. Oh no, that was a clan. Oh well. It has a chance of either being a uh, communicator part or a clan. We've got a clan, unfortunately. Any more? Also, I, I planted these uh, coconut trees myself. Stole them from another island. Squirts. Blue shells are always worth picking up. Mostly because they seem to be used way more for like recipes and stuff than any other types of shell, so. Where are these parts at? I did see a uh, message in a bottle over here actually that I didn't pick up, I don't think. So let's go and get that quickly. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, coach is doing some fishing. It costs like a hundred thousand to build a bridge, so might as well just use the uh, the vaulting pole as much as possible. Congrats on finding my treasure. You know how you get so bored during commercials? That's when I came up with this recipe. I'll share it. Uh, I'll share it with you since you found this bottle. Show it off once you're done. The DIY pop star Tammy, but Tammy with an I, not a not a Y. Birdhouse. I've already got a birdhouse. Mate, birdhouse is like one of the first recipes you get in the entire game. Useless Tammy. You didn't think you are, mate. Oof. I'm a, I'm a, I'm offended. Mate, can I give you the recipe? This is yours. Oh, we can't give the... Oh shit, I forgot to spend the heart crystals. I was supposed to spend them at the... Uh, the two... Sheep people. The couple. But I just completely forgot. Oh well. And it's... We can't go back there until tomorrow, so... Oh well. Shut up. Okay, let's find these uh, these communicator parts. Mm -hmm. It would be nice if I had my shovel equipped. <clears throat> That's one. A. Hey. There should be a five in total. We don't have to do it all right now, though. Oh, there's one. God damn it. Hey. My shovel's probably gonna break at some point. I've been using this same shovel for like the entire game. Oh, that's one. Oh, just a clam. You know what? I saw a big fish over here actually. I kind of want to catch that. 
instance, whenever I donate to the museum, I always like to donate one insect, one fish, and one fossil at a time. Like, I always go, go out of my way to make sure I'm donating, like, one of each at the same time. Because, uh... I like to have the equal amount of items of like of those of like insects, fish and fossils in the museum. Because I'm weird. I think we've already got one of those, yeah. Hey, get out of here, you down sea bass. Got like a million of you. Basic house bitch. Simple Simon in fish form. Get out of there. Boom. <laughs> Any more fish? You know what, I should make a uh, fish bait actually. You can use those uh, clams that I got to make fish bait. Then that's how you get all the best fish. So we'll go make some fish bait actually. At the crafting table. Fish bait. There's a, there's a pier down here, which is where I, where I like to go and uh, use the fish bait. Oh god, what is that thing on the floor there? Do you think I've ever seen one of those before? I guess I'll see what this, this guy is first. One of the uh, like achievement nook miles thing things uh, is to uh oh shit oh what well, I was gonna say one of the nook miles achievement things is to catch like 100 fish in a row without missing without failing and I was on like a 60 something streak and I just failed it what the fuck I was god damn it I was talking I wasn't fully paying attention oh well back to zero on that then. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Let's see if there's any more communicated parts, actually. Bump, ba da da bump, 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 bump. This is where I like to use the fish bait. Scatter the bait. Ooh, who's come to play? Let's find out. I caught a squid last time from doing this. So let's see what we got here. Can't see shit. No, you bastard. Oh, I got that meat turned. Yeah, fishing can be awkward in this game sometimes. Like, you need to get the thing to be in front of the fish. There we go. Okay, let's not fuck it up this time. There we go. What we got? That's a horse mackerel. I've got like 100 of them. Oh well. Get out of here, you damn horse mackerel. Waste of bait. Shit, there's one. A, yeah, that should be the final one. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, did you find him? Sure did. Rudder from another rudder. If Totally unrelated news. I knew where a new Demon Souls screenshot was released today. And it looks amazing. I think I think they only release that screenshot to like address feedback because it was another screenshot of the of the tower night. But yet this time the like the lighting and the tone looked completely different and it, it looks more similar to the original. So I think they saw people like saying that the game looked too different from the original and they decided to, uh, is that another horse macro one? They decided to uh, release that picture to like make sure that people know that they know what they're doing. I caught a dace, I hope I have some space. That's new. That's one for the Critopedia. Shit, this guy comes out every month of the year. What a simple Simon. What a basic bitch. Mate, the only unique thing about this guy is that he doesn't appear between af between 9am and 4pm. Mate, get out of there. Okay, so we've got an Atlas Moth and a Dace. Now we just need to get a fossil. Which is one right there. And then we'll go and donate all of it to the museum. <laughs> Didn't mean to pick up those weeds. Hopefully this fossil isn't a, like a, a duplicate, since you can't tell if it's new or not until you actually like hand it in. Mate, this is Blavers. The, uh, the fiend that Peter tried to cancel. And, like, Peter made this dumbass Twitter video saying like Blavers should be cancelled for like running a museum full of like fish and insects. And there are all these people in the in the aquarium saying like free the fish, empty the tanks, cancel blathers. It was oof. <laughs> it was funny though. Fucking hell. Dran Lake Museum. Sounds pretty nice actually, the the Dran Lake Museum. How may I be of service? Got a fossil for you, mate. What this? Oh, who? An ang oh, an anklo tail, mate. Ark is coming through. I know an anklo. It's the the metal dinosaur. Is the demon of song in a museum? Oh, he is actually. He's just uh, he's just sat there in the museum, like it's not even a fossil. It's just the demon of song himself. He's just sat there. Maybe we got an anklo tail. I remember using them in arc and hitting stones to get metal. I think were those just, were those the metal dinosaurs or the stone dinosaurs? I think the anklos were the metal ones. 
Superb indeed, splendid, a rare fossil we do not have yet in our collection. The metal dino from Ark, yeah, is the metal one now. I, I will donate it. Bam, bam, bam. About to give you a short presentation on the topic? Yes, please. Mate, tell me about the Ankler. Was the herbivore hero, the grazing gladiator, the vegetarian barbarian of an antiquity? An antiquity? Between its club-like tail, heavy armour and honest-to-goodness spikes, it was a formidable beast. Can you keep a secret? It depends. I have even heard recent theories that it actively attacked predators. Can you imagine such behaviour in a herbivore? It simply beggars the imagination. That's all he's got to say about that, guys. <clears throat> Any hoots? I will gladly accept your generous donation, thank you. Mate, I've got a... Oh yeah, Blavis hates insects, so whenever you give him an insect, he kind of, he freaks out about it. Let's give him the moth. There you go, mate. Enjoy. Eek! An atlas moth, what a wretched thing. Alas, I am obliged to ask, would you like to learn more about this specimen? Please, tell me. Ah, I see. In that case, <clears throat> The Atlas Moth is a monstrous thing. Not only is it one of the largest moths in the world, the tips of its wings look rather like the heads of venomous snakes. Oh god, despite its largeness and loathsome looks, the adult Atlas Moth lives only for a few days. It emerges from its cocoon without a mouth, and so cannot eat. I feel for the poor thing, but it is still foul. Imagine being born without a mouth and then just dying from starvation, like, what a failed creature. Like, why, why do they even exist? <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof. I know bugs are the bane of my existence. Rest assured, the wretched thing will get the best of care here. Oh, Blavers is a nice guy. Got a fish for you as well, mate. Got you a dace. Never even heard of a dace. Hooty who? This must be a dace. Sure, you can tell me a few facts. A shiny little fish that enjoy fresh water streams of gravelly bottoms and plenty of sunlight. What a fishy paradise. <laughs> the best of Kurt be dead in a few days, yeah. Oof. I wonder... It'd be cool if they actually, like, <laughs> implemented that into the gameplay and they had to, like, catch a new one every few, every few days, because you keep dying. But I doubt that. I, be I bet it's just going to last forever now. What a fishy paradise until the larger fish move in and begin eating the days. Oh, no. <laughs> Oof. What a, what a failed creature of God. Just born of no mouth, just destined to starve to death. Oof. Suddenly the shiny day is that easy for other fish to spot, which makes him a popular snack. However, this particular specimen here has no need to worry. There's a strict no eating your neighbour policy at this institution. <clears throat> there you have it. Mate, that, that, that Atlas Moth needed that no eating your neighbour role. Mate, I bet he was just dying to eat his neighbours. Okay, we don't have anything else to give him. Bam, bam. Okay, let's go on the. Let's go look at our. 
Uh, insects. Let's go look at the uh, the Atlas moth, who's going to be a who's just going to be a corpse in a few days. We're just going to come into the museum and just find a dead moth on the floor. We're just all starved to death and all skinny and weak. Where's he at? Oh, there he is. is that, no, that's not the Atlas moth. That's the that's the tiger butterfly. That's a that's another one that I donated a few days ago. Well, I'm, I'm, oh, there's, there it is. Jeez, it's so big. That's what she said. Atlas Moth. Donated by James on June 18th, 2020. Cool. I mean, this is where all the, all the creepy crawlies are kept. Wolf, roach, hermit crab. Got some uh, mosquitoes and fleas up here. Yikes. What's in there? I had a the locust. Did I think there's a centipede in this one down there? Yeah, centipede. And a pill bug. I only know what a pill bug is because I'm pretty sure one of the bosses in Hollow Knight is a pill bug. Then mm -hmm. this is where all the the butterflies are kept. Which at daytime they're usually all like flying around and it looks really cool, but at night time they just kind of sit about and do nothing. Pond skater in there. Creepy water spider looking thing, like. Get me away from that thing. Okay, let's go look at the, the fossils. Mm -mm -mm. What fossil did we get again? Oh, yeah, the, uh, the anklo tail. I don't know what's going to be put out outside here. I haven't got a single one of these things yet. <clears throat> hey. Oh, there's the ankle tail. What else we got here? This is a, a parasol, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Mate, I know all... The only reason I know what most of these things are is because of Ark. This is a Diplodocus, I think. Yeah, Diplodocus. Well, a tail of a Diplodocus, anyway. This is a Brachiosaurus. We've got some uh, fossilised shit here. Some fossilised... Fossilized poop. There you go. We got a giant turtle boy here. And then you got a uh, what's this thing called again? Oh yeah, Quetzal. Which uh, qu the Quetzals were like the better versions of uh, Tyrannodons in Ark. So there you go. That's some uh, game facts for you to put that in your. Animal Crossing wiki that the Quetzals are better than Tronodons and Ark Survival Evolved. We've got another room in here. Boom. Boom. This is a, like a, a woolly rhino thing apparently. Megaserops. 
But that's all we got for fossils. Now let's go check out the fishes. Wait, where's the where's the human silhouette? I feel discriminated against. Wait, there's a big top. What else we got here? I don't recognise any of the other ones. Let's go look at the fishies. Oh. Jeez, it's 11. God damn. Time's flying today for me. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure the EA Play thing is happening today. Like uh, EA's, EA's E3. Well, it's not actually E3 because E3 got cancelled this year, but... The thing that but well, it basically is EA E3, and it's happening right now. I oh, know it's not. I think it starts at twelve, or no, I don't know when it's starting. But it's starting soon, so I'll, I'll probably watch that at some point tonight. Maybe the next, maybe the next Battlefield game could get announced or some shit like that. Maybe a Dead Space game that would be hype. Boom. I'm not expecting anything big in EA Play though, because there's been hardly any market marketing for it. Like, I didn't even know it was today until earlier today, when I saw like a shitty little tweet about it, and that was it. Like, usually they hype it up, but they're not hyping it up this year. <clears throat> okay, this is where all like the, the river and pond fish are kept. We got some tadpoles, some crawfish. Mate, well, how do I look at those guys? There we go. Black bass, carps. We got it all here. Like, what kind of fish do you want in your chippy? Like, we've got a wide selection. Tilapia. There's the dace. Freshwater goby. Crucian cap. Okay, this is this is the boring part of the aquarium, though. This is the no, not this bit. Well, this bit's pretty cool actually, but it's the it's the like ocean fish section, which is the best part. I mean, look at all these guys. Look at those anchovies. It's kind of weird. You you catch one anchovy and donate one anchovy, and then there's just suddenly like. A hundred of them. Like God knows where all those guys came from. Horse mackerel. <coughs> There's a whole section down there as well, but I haven't caught anything. That goes in that tank yet, so there's no point going down there just yet. Hey, look at this. Yeah. I really like the museum in this game. It's so cool. <coughs> hey, there's the squid. June 15th. What day is it now? Is it like the 19th? Because I swear I donated the squid yesterday, but apparently not. Yeah, we got a squid. We got a horsefish. We got a. Uh, we got a jumbo fish over there somewhere. Oh, no, wait, the jumbo fish is uh, up at the top. Where's the jumbo fish? Or the Cyborg fish, if, if you'd like. There you go, the clown fish. <laughs> there you go. Oof. Boom. Boom. 18th now, 19th by 12th, okay. I guess that makes sense. Mm. Mm. A 
world of flounder. <clears throat> Man, this guy's got a weird name, Zebra Turkey Fish. When I first caught this thing, I was like, oh hey, it's a lionfish, but nope, it's a zebra turkey fish, apparently. So maybe, is that what, like, lionfish are called in America or something? Or am I just an idiot and they're completely different things? Let me search that up, actually. Zebra turkey fish. Also known as zebra lionfish, okay. So I guess lionfish and turkey fish are, like, the same things. I always, I've always heard him be called lionfish. Boom, boom. I don't know what goes in this big tube here. Wait, the bozo fish, the clownfish. Okay, that's all for the museum. I guess we could, we can either grind up some money to get the house upgrade, or we can talk to Tom Nook and, and uh, work on getting that KK slider to come on by the island and do a concert. Which I mean, we're not, there's a bunch of stuff we need to build in order to do that, so we won't be able to get it all done tonight, but we could make a good start on it. Well, hey, Tommy. Am I being pranked? Is there a hidden camera? I mean, kinda. Technically, you've been filmed right now. I mean, I ain't got nothing to give you. Whoa, James, did you just make those clothes yourself? Awesome. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a genius, you see. I should make my own uh, clothes store. Yeah, I guess we'll go talk to a uh, big boy Tom Nook. The Sly Devil. The Mob Boss. <laughs> Look at this guy. Hello, hello. The construction consultation counter. Oh yeah, we could hold a ceremony actually. Whenever you build like a new building, like in this case it's the town hall that we're standing in, standing in now. Oh, it could be the clove store actually. Whenever you build like a new building, you, you can do a ceremony. Where like all the, all the villagers on the islands like gather and have a party. And like set off... Those, uh, I forgot what they're called, those like confetti, like party popper things. I think they're just called party poppers, actually. So I'll, I'll say we do that, actually. Let's, let's, do, a, let's do a ceremony, boys. You want to take part in a ceremony, James? So we can choose which one. We can either do the clothes shop one or the residence services one, which is the building that we're in now. Which one did I build first? I think I built them at the same time, actually. I guess we'll do the uh, the clove shop for now. Splendid. Let's get started. Mate, look at the squad. Gang, gang, gang. Gucci gang. Make this music. We're just on top of the world, boys. Now then. Welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Tron Lake's brand new tailors. <clears throat> it's so, so jolly and wholesome. Thank you. 
Tron Lake is developing wonderfully. Yes, yes. Now we just need to make a castle. Wait, this is Dark Souls 2 prequel. Dark Souls 2 origin story. Tom Nook is King Vendrick. <clears throat> Atlas, Caterpillars of Mouse, <laughs> Leaves and Joan. Being a cocoon, I guess. Once adult, the only exists to reproduce. One existence. When I die, I want my next life to be a, an Atlas moth. And uh, I'd have a good, I'd have a good time for a few days before going back to the uh, the void. Imagine if like, like all life, like when something. I guess that doesn't make sense. Like when you are, not when you're born, but everyone has like a chance of being something. Like God rolls a dice, and you're either like you're either like a human, or you're a dog, or you're a fish, or something. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> being an atlas moth and just being able to live for like a week, and then just <laughs> going back to the void <laughs> for all eternity. Oof, That's unlucky. Better luck next time. If no, there is no next time. Oof. <clears throat> well, this time we'll have some brief comments from Mabel and Sable, who will be running the tailor shop. Ladies, if you be so kind. Thanks everyone, we've been able to of all the different species on the planet, that would be one hell of a dice. Yeah, it's just like a, a million-sided dice. It'd have to be... I don't know, it'd have to be massive to have all those on it. Thanks everyone, we've been able to open such a lovely shop here. I work hard with my sister Sable to make a nice place for you all to visit, so be sure to stop by. Yeah, this bitch never talks. Oh, yes. Please stop by. No, oh, she's shy. Mabel, Sable, thank you both so much. Oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's my time to shine. <laughs> Next, a few words from someone who made many valuable contributions so that this Halo shop could be built. Take it away, James, our resident representative. Anything to add? Woo! <laughs> Woo! Let's go, look at him. Look at that Chad. Yes, yes indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, James. Mate, I just went, woo! Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take us com commemorative... I can't say that word. Photo should get ready to... To press the uh, the photo button. <clears throat> yes, well then. With hope for our continued growth and to celebrate Tron Lake's beautiful tailors. Hooray! Boom, gotta take a picture of that. The squad. Thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. Thanks, Tom Nook. Please don't follow me on the beat me up with a baseball bat for not paying off my, my loan. I promise I'll get it paid in the next day at least. Just I just need more time. Please. Okay. Well, what would be the best way to make money? The only way to make money in this game is just to sell stuff. But we can't even sell stuff because the shop's closed. Shit. <laughs> the person behind the tree got fucked. Yeah, I did notice there was someone behind the tree, but I didn't. I wasn't paying attention, so I'll just see who it was. I think it was Big Top. I think it was Big Top and Marina. They were just both ob ob obfuscated, whatever the word is, by the fucking tree. Oof. Yeah, we can't. We're not going to be able to get the house upgrade today because the shop is closed, which means we can't sell anything to get to get money. So unless we just walk around and get lucky enough to like find bells hidden underground and we ain't we ain't getting no money today boys. Oh well. 
<coughs> I mean, you can. I'm I'm scared. Yeah. I I, th I was thinking of the word like ob obvious obs obs. I can't, I can't say it. Obfuscated or something. Obst obfuscated. I'll search it up. What am I? What's the word I'm thinking of? Obfuscated. Obfuscated. Make obscure, unclear, or <laughs> unintelligible. Obs. How the hell do you say obfuscate? Obfuscate. I can't. I'm. I. I'm stupid. I like brain cells. You see, I only have like seven room zones, I think. So. So yeah. Forgive me. And uh. <laughs> yeah, I forgot what I was talking about now. Uh, got a new recipe apparently. Wooden block bed. <clears throat> yeah, we can we can sell stuff to the shop, but when you do when you sell stuff after the shop's closed, you don't get your money until the next day. So if I would put some items in this box to sell, we wouldn't get paid for it until tomorrow. So. Oh well. I guess we'll uh, work on getting this campsite built that we need to build in order to get to get KK Slider's attention. What should I do? We're going to build a campsite so that visitors can experience how wonderful life is on this island. First, craft a campsite construction kit and then find a good location to deploy it. Okay, mate. What do I need to make a campsite construction kit? 15 iron nuggets, 15 hardwood, 15 softwood, and 15 normal wood. We have all of that other than the 15 wood, which we need to get 9 wood, which that should be easy enough to get, so let's go and do that. <laughs> Talking about bug snacks. Mate, we're playing bug snacks. Okay, so to get wood you need to chop trees, obviously, but there's different types of axes that do different things, and if I use this axe, it'll just chop down the tree, which I kind of don't want to do that, so I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a smaller axe, which should just use uh, branches and stones, which we have plenty of those, so we should be able to make one. Yeah, boy. Flimsy axe. Cool. I don't think I've actually made a normal axe in this game yet. Yeah, axes, normal axes are only useful for like chopping down trees, I guess. Which I don't, there's, I don't know why you'd want to chop down trees most of the time. Unless it's like, in the way, like getting in the way of a place that you want to build. On or something. Um, okay. So we need to get nine wood, which shouldn't take too long. There's two. Yeah, the wood we need is the uh, the wood with the the dark edges, but like the light inside bit, like this one here. Ah shit! I shouldn't have hit this tree. Actually, I don't like hitting my uh, I don't like hitting the fruit trees because then that means I'm gonna have to plant them again in order to get the apples to in order to get my apple trees. Which I guess I can just do that now. 
Boom. Got an apple in that. Yeet. I don't think I've got a. Uh, I don't think I've ever caught a uh, firefly. Oh wait, I think I might have actually. Let's see. I think I have caught a firefly actually. Maybe not. I guess I haven't. Oh no, wait. I think that's it there. Yeah, firefly. We have caught a firefly then. Well, they only come out in June. Which means if I didn't catch one this month, then we wouldn't be able to get one for the entire year. Talk about exclusive. <clears throat> I'm assuming this is for getting wood. Yeah, get 500 wood. Wow, the next one is 2,000. That's going to take a while. How many more do we need? One more. There we go. I'm gonna get one more, just so I'll still have some wood left over in my inventory once we make this thing. Okay, let's go. I don't know where I'm gonna where I'm gonna put it actually. Hmm. I would build it on this side of the island, but I have there's no way for villagers to get across the water because I haven't got a bridge on this side of the island. So it's gonna have to be somewhere on this part or to the right of the island somewhere. I guess we need to go to the uh, crafting table. Site construction kit. Cool. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I should move my house one day. Because I kind of like it being on the beach, but at the same time, there's another cool spot all the way, like on top of the, the hill over there, which I kind of like. So maybe I'll move my house over there one day. But I think it costs like it costs quite a lot to uh, to move your house. So I'm not sure how much exactly the campsite construction. Okay, okay. How? Let's just see how big this thing is first. Okay, it's not that big. Uh, where should we put this? You know what? This little this little bit here could be a good spot. Maybe if I just like put it here. Nah, nah, it's, it won't fit. Oh well. I could, I guess I could put it at the this bit here, but I don't want to get rid of this stone because I like to use it to get uh, iron nuggets and stuff. So maybe this would be a good spot. Maybe a bit more to the side, and then down a bit, like this. But just a bit more upwards. Okay, that's too close to the ledge apparently. Let's just do it where we did it first, like here. 
There we go, we'll just, we'll just put it here. Let me imagine it. Hmm. Is that a good spot? Can I put it down just a little bit? Like here. Let me imagine it. Yeah, that, that looks nice. I guess I'll... I guess I'll build it there. Okay, now we need to wait until... tomorrow for that to be done. No, it's big, this is Big Top's house. I'm sleeping. Please don't wake me up. Okay, mate. Mate, I'm gonna... Mate, Tom Nook sent me to collect your payments due. Like, wake up, mate. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to wake you up with a space ball, but... You know what I'm saying? Hello, coach. <laughs> Your bicep muscles do a lot of work for you when you're swimming. Thanks, big coach. I was going to call him Big Coach then, even though it's just Coach. A balloon. Digital scale. Would be cool if you could like stand on it. But it doesn't seem that you can. Oh well. I haven't got any room in my house to uh, put that down anywhere anyway, so oh well. Need to get this house upgrade. What else is there to do? I guess I could uh, get working on the next thing that Tom Nook wants me to build. Maybe let's, maybe let's hold up Tom Nook and Isabel with a slingshot. Have you found a good location for our campsite? I sure have. Splendid. <clears throat> what else you want me to do, mate? Thanks for your help, we have a place to put our new campsite. My plan is to open the campsite to visitors by tomorrow, something to look forward to, huh? Okay, so I'm guessing we can't... We can't continue with that. <clears throat> until the campsite's been built. Oh well. Hello, Isabel. <clears throat> oh yeah, you, you can make a... You can make a tune for your island. You'd like to compare the new tune for John Lake right now? Well, that's great news. I knew I could count on you, Maestro. Let's say I'll look at the tune. I'm not sure how this works, though. I'm, how do I like? How do I change the notes? I don't know how to like actually edit this. All it says is play, cancel, and done. And when you click on them, nothing happens. Oh, ah, oh, there we go. You have to like. You have to press up on the D-pad. Okay. Okay, let's make a tune, boys. Let's just do it all question marks. What's that sound like?
bit slow, mate. I told you earlier I have uh, I have seven chromosomes, okay? Like don't don't judge me. Like this is <laughs> this is the noise I hear inside my, my brain like every second of every day, like come me some slack, okay. I don't know what tune I'm gonna make. I need DJ came and kind on the mic to help me out with this. Mate, we've got some bangers here, boys. Let's go. I did see someone on Twitter actually make the uh, make the Outer Wilds theme on this, which would be cool. Maybe I'll uh, steal that idea. Oh, we don't have a Y. I was going to spell something out. Oh well. You know what, we, we won't mess with that too much now. For now. Don't need to change the flag. Someone say Megalovania. I wonder if you could actually make Megalovania on that. Not the whole song, obviously, but like the uh, the tune, the melody, low D, low D, high D. Maybe I might search up like Animal Crossing. Tunes. See if we can copy anything quickly. Something funny. Something lol next day. Animal crossing island themes. Island theme ideas. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my god, the amount of ads on this website go away. What a shitty article. Top 50 Nintendo. I don't want Nintendo tunes. I want memes. 69 meme Animal Crossing Town tunes. Let's see if we can find something funny. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What's number one? We Shop theme. What else we got? We are number one. Okay, let's do we are number one. But it's like the blue sea. There we go. Nothing. A. There we go. I don't know what this is going to sound like. That's we had number one apparently. I didn't really. Uh, Recognize it. There you go. 
What else have we got here? I guess that's the, uh, like the start of it, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> National Anthem of USSR. Wait, well, I'll skip past it. Where was it? Oh shit, One Winged Angel of Final Fantasy VII. Na National Anthem of USSR. Uh, okay. Can't see because my webcam is in the way. I don't even know what the, the National Anthem of the U.S. even sounds like, honestly. Keeping that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There you go, Isabel. We're uh, we're communists now. two hours. Probably gonna think about ending it soon. But I do I do wanna make I do wanna donate some money to the uh, the uh, the ABD which is the thing where you pay off your your house loans and stuff. But I'm not sure because the shop's closed there isn't really any ways to make money right now. <laughs> Animal communism is my favourite game. Yes. We are all communists now. No. Oh, what was that? Was that the music playing then? Well, I want to talk to you again. I'm sure I just played the USSR thing. Well, I didn't do it this time. Oh yes. Animal communism, potato horizons. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't realise that it played like the island theme whenever you talk to someone. That's amazing. Town screen plays when you talk to people on entering buildings. Uh, I did not know that. What am I doing? Oh yes. I wanna... Is there any way to make money when the shop's closed? Other than like, finding bells buried underground and shit. I don't think there is. Oh well, I guess I can donate what I have on me now. I wouldn't like. I don't want to donate all my money, so maybe I'll give away like ten thousand or some shit.
I say we give 11,000 so that we have 10,000 left over. We need to pay another 27,000. Anything worth buying here? Uh, not really. I've got the, uh, the handmade cape and the handmade crown, but I haven't got any of this stuff yet. Do I need to buy it before it expires? Whenever at the uh, 6th of July. You know what? What I might do actually, I might go around and hit all the stones on the on the island, just to see see if we can get any uh, gold nuggets. Because uh, from what I can tell, at least for me so far, the best way to make money in this game so far is to sell golden nuggets because you can sell them for like ten thousand each. So. So, uh, it is quite rare to get gold nuggets. I think I've already got one of, one of those. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, man. Give me some gold. Hey, speak up the devil, and he shall appear. <clears throat> Rip. I'm not sure if you actually like use gold nuggets for anything. I haven't got any recipes yet that need gold nuggets, but I'm assuming I will get one at some point. No, we'll, we'll get into the house the, uh, the the proper way. I might plant some more apple seeds first, actually. Well, apple trees. Boom. Didn't mean to do that. Digital scale, you know what, I might give the digital scale to her uh, to coach. Since coach is into like fitness fitness and stuff. So maybe he wants to keep track of his weight. And I haven't got anywhere in my house to fit a to fit a, a digital scale anywhere, so I might just give it to him. Dig two holes behind you, behind you before hitting stones to negate knockback from hit. Yeah, I guess I could do that since since getting like knocked back whenever you hit a stone is quite annoying and having to like move forward again. Yeah. Oh, I can't get over that theme, fucking hell. Oh, we can't give him anything. Oh well. I guess I'll hold on to it until I can give him something. Bouncy ball. Drew a potion using a druid stand, pattern of blaze rods to have fire resistance to make navigating the never easier. Oh well. Didn't know you could do that. Where's, where's the. 
Where's the creepers at, yo? We got uh, we got a little killer keem star hanging out here. He, he keeps watch. He watches the ocean for any uh, for any uh, drowned from Minecraft. So make sure they don't come out of the water and attack me. Do you know there's like water zombie guys? Yeah, that's what killer keem star protects me from. Got my little uh, thing. Sun bathing chair thing. I forgot what you call them. So this is my house. I know I showed it off at the beginning, but it was a long time ago. I got a little shoe stands there. That's where I, I uh... different got a part of the game where you can go to hell. Yeah, it gets weird. Hmm. I was gonna say uh... how do I make a, a diamond pickaxe, but I think I've got that far yet. This is my little. Shoe stand, my little NVP top up there. What else have we got in there? Got a movie projector on top of, on top of a cardboard box, which uh, you put the thing down. You close. Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that. You close the window, and then you can use it as like a <laughs> projector screen, even though it that it goes like beneath it. Because that's annoying. Because I want to push it back so it doesn't, so it looks better, so it's like shining over the entire window cover thing. But then, if I have it this far back, it means I can't, I can't actually sit on the couch. So then, if I then if I push the couch back, then I can't get back here. Then I won't be able to close this window while turn on the radio. So, so yeah, like I really need a, a house upgrade. House expansion. <laughs> got my uh, my locust, my fishy boy. It's got a, just got a bike in here for some reason. Just slung it on. Slung it in there. There you go. Got an hourglass. Wow, that hour went by quick. But yeah. I think I might end off here. We've been going for how long we've been going for? I've been going for over two hours now. Which I wasn't even sure if I was gonna find like enough to do in this game to do like an entire stream on, but we managed to go for like over two hours, so I'm happy with that. And yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on getting that house expansion thing so I can fit more shit in there because it is it is cramped as hell okay let's save it is that EA play thing on right now actually I can't tell When does it start? I think it starts at 12, so in like 10 minutes. <clears throat> but yeah, I think I'm gonna end the stream here. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll be uh, back on Saturday with some more Bloodborne, where we're going to be starting the DLC. We finished the game in the last episode and now we're starting the DLC, so hope you look forward to that. It's going to be fun. And 
change here. Going to be uploading the next Bloodborne part on uninstalled on Friday. Which you know what, I've been kind of productive this week. I Usually I edit the uninstalled videos on like on the day that I upload them. But this this week I edited, I edited the Bloodborne video on Tuesday. Which means I don't have to edit it on Friday now so I can just chill out. So, so yeah, pat myself on the back for that. And uh, and yeah, I'll uh, see y'all on Saturday. See ya. Bye bye. Bye bye.